No. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're doing good. I'm uh, working on sharing uh, the stream everywhere, but so far not many people seem, seem to be uh, on here at the moment. Uh, so let's share this. Uh, I don't know where I can share this here um, mm, 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 mm. so how's everyone doing I hope you are doing good I'm doing pretty good myself 
uh, even though I got some, uh, well, what could be good news, but I'm, I'm, it's just, it, it's not even news, it's an opportunity that I'm not sure if I, uh, if I want to take it or not, or if I should take it or not, but uh, I'll think about it. I've been offered a class. Oh, hello, Mr. Frogger. How are you doing? You're doing, doing okay here. That's very, very cool. I do don't remember since we spoke last time. Were you going on vacation or were you back from vacation? I don't remember. I'm so horrible at that kind of stuff. <laughs> there we go. We can start for real now. Break my uh, uh, starting soon screen. Uh, so today, well, since the last stream, I worked a bit. You don't remember ever uh, either, but you are back. That is very cool. I hope you had fun. I think you were saying that you had, like, you'd been with family back where you are from. I think. I'm not sure. Anyway. Yeah, so I worked a tiny bit more on the crater here. Um, still just a shape. I'm not. Uh, I haven't worked on the uh, the palette, like the blocks that we could use for that. But we're not gonna work on that too much uh, today. I also added some uh, some of that fog effect um, down here in the pit, just to, s to have an idea of what it would look like. Uh, I picked magenta because it kind of felt like the most uh, magic looking color uh, but there's some orange a bit uh, hidden a bit deeper and well we can't really see it, anything but there's a uh, is it that button to zoom yeah uh, there are some frog lights underneath uh, but we can't really see them and I added some uh, spore blossom to add some particles in the hole because it looks even better with that. Particles are just great for, for decoration. Uh, but yeah, so today we're not gonna work on the landscaping, we're gonna work on houses for this area. Um, so let's think of a color palette. So we want something that's gonna contrast. First of all, I'm really thinking like granite, polished granite, and bricks could be a good uh, something that works well down here. I had planned for a, a palette that would involve more uh, like almost only wood uh, but I'm just now I'm thinking of that of uh, using those for the uh, the main part of the houses and also um, something pretty important there's gonna be two types of houses the types the, the, the houses that were there before the um, incident that happened and the ones that were built after so the ones before will be like regular houses uh, like that like with bricks and uh, you know stuff from the regular world uh, and the ones that came after will be will be made with uh, with uh, like uh, mushroom blocks and can you move away please oh uh, no I can change this here uh, yeah they'll, they'll be made more like uh, with uh, yeah mushroom blocks and like uh, crimson and warped wood stuff like that like all the the woods and the trees that appeared uh, after uh, or the, the trees and the mushrooms that, that appeared after the uh, the incident is kind of the the idea that I have I've going right now. Sorry, I had a hair in my eye. It's super annoying. Uh, so that's a good starting shape. Uh, something like that. And then what? kind of floor could we have? I think that smooth stone floor would be a great fit. 
So, have you had a good week, Mr. Frogger? Are you happy? I'm guessing the weekend is starting already for you. It's starting right now. Lucky you. So if we do something like that, we're gonna, of course, change it a lot. Of course, with time, uh, something I can like to do is stuff like that. Kind of just to have a bit of a pattern in the corner, because it's gonna be a small house, so I don't think I'm gonna have like those pillars sticking out here. It, I don't think it would really fit in too well. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's good. I think I would stick it out a bit. Uh, yes, started, managed to finally figure out a build I was struggling with. That is very cool. Uh, most of the week, but over the last two nights, good. you got it how you want it. That is very cool. That's always fun when that happens. When you're struggling with something and suddenly it all makes sense now. <laughs> this is a great feeling. When it all clicks together. I love when that happens. Uh, something like that. Uh, here it's gonna be the foundation, so we could use some cobble. Oh, also I forgot to put some music. I knew I was doing something wrong. Um, is the volume good enough on the music? Because it's super low for me right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for. Like I, I hear the song. I, I recognize what song it is, but it's quite low. I think I'm just gonna increase it a bit. Oops. Gonna bring the live stream back. You don't hear any music. Yeah, it's kind of annoying because the songs aren't very consistent in terms of, uh, of volume. The songs in my playlist. Is it better like that? Also, can close that. Better, perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, so let's have it stick out by. Yeah, we can remove this big mushroom. We'll put it back eventually. I'm gonna have this wall stick out just a little bit. Maybe why by one block? Here it sticks out by four. Yeah, I'm just gonna have it stick out by one. Just like that. Should be fine. So this this project that you are working on, this build, uh, is it for uh, for crossroads or for like a tutorial or something like that? Wait, that's it's crossroad that you play on, right? I'm not being confused between servers now. A little shop idea for crossroad, very very cool. I can't wait to see what you're gonna build. Um, what should I use for the roof? I'm thinking something dark. Uh, suppose oak would also fit. Oak looks good with that, right? Sort of. Yeah. Uh, 
Blackstone based rundown build. Oh, very cool. Can't wait to see it. I'm guessing it's not gonna be for uh, tomorrow's episode. I'm assuming. <laughs> Next week, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I kind of thought you wouldn't work that fast. <laughs> oh, picks on Monday. Very, very cool. I really need to put picks, uh, previews of my builds too. I, uh, I kind of neglect the the whole, uh, how do you call that? The, the, the whole uh, social media, except like talking about stuff but other than that I don't uh, I don't publish enough on there um, so far I'm going super old school with the <laughs> with the textures with the the palette or I should say Might not be the best for uh, interactions. I I don't know. Uh, I guess you can, if you have a, a good enough community of people that uh, follow you on Twitter, it can be good for maybe reaching out to other uh, other people if they share and if a lot of people interact with uh, with what you do. Like I see people like. Uh, Sev, she she posts a lot of stuff on Twitter and she gets lo a, a lot of uh, of reaction and of uh, feed well, not not feedback but uh, yeah pe people interact with her a lot. So again, if you're just joining, this house at the moment is very, very basic, but it will get better, I promise. I promise you that. Yeah, so, shall, uh, so, so far, pretty old school block palette, but we'll see if uh, something else works. Do I like the little... Nah, I don't like those. I'm gonna replace those with slabs. No. No. There we go. Um, okay, we need something a tiny bit better for this here Ugh, it's too heavy here at the moment Ugh, I don't like it nope okay that's better wait was it exactly what I had earlier I think it is Dang it! <laughs> One thing I really should work on are different roof styles. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I kind of went for the usual roof like that. But now that you mention it, I, I, I actually had an idea in mind that I wanted all the the houses here to be like circular, and and I just didn't do that. <laughs> Um, because it's, I don't know, it's, it, it's a basic house shape. I, I don't hate it, it's just, it's, it's not really 
innovative or, or anything like that. Um, so let me think, let me think. If I change this outline here, well, actually, no, I'm gonna keep this house. Wait, no, okay. I know what I'm doing. I, I'm not confused at all. It's it's just to make you laugh that I keep changing my mind. Uh, I'm gonna just put an outline around the roof, just to like make it a, a, a viable house, and then we'll build something else with a completely different style. that as well and I'm guessing I'm gonna have to do one on the other side too yep okay so we got that as a basic shape let's try something else now um, I'm not gonna work with too much palette, too much uh, variation in the palettes. I threw away my slabs, but I'm gonna need them some more. And... Ah, no. I... If I'm planning to make videos for this world or just streams, I'm gonna make videos also, but they're gonna be a bit different. They're gonna be a less buildy, like less... Uh, Less like I would do on a uh, on a, 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 a an SMP. Sorry, words are hard. I really should have drank my coffee before I started streaming. Um, but yeah, it won't be like I would do on an SMP. There'll will be more like uh, about uh, showing progress and like uh, explaining the lore, explaining the story. So maybe a bit more cinematic, something like that. I'm not exactly sure, I haven't really figured out how I'm gonna make the videos, like, exactly, yet. But yeah, it's, it's, there's gonna be videos. It's like a, a bit more retrospective type of, uh, of deal. So that's way too small. So let's just go with something like that, maybe. Sounds good. Wait, what am I doing now? I do something like that. Like, would it make sense in like a uh, isolated little island that they would do like circular houses? I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think like in uh, architecture terms of not architecture, but like. Uh, like why people build houses the way they do when where they live like where would you build a circular house like what advantage would it give and would it make sense to search for that that advantage in uh in an island like that in a little isolated island that's probably getting lots of rain i'm gonna assume it's always raining here um hmm <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, 
I'll, uh, I'll just figure something out. It, it, it doesn't always have to be all thought out like that. I really prefer when it is, but I don't have to. Low circle, yeah. Yeah, because I was thinking of like making them taller, but yeah, it, it makes more sense to make them uh, like sh not as tall, shorter. I I can't find my words. Yeah, it, it would make more sense if they were shorter in a place like this, so maybe like a very low roof, maybe even like no stairs or. making it three wide because it's just gonna need to meet in the middle like that and that I will adjust after I'm done Oops. so I haven't played a lot in the last week so somehow I can't place blocks anymore. That's a bit embarrassing. So if we do it like that... Does that work? This would be a full circle around it, and here it would be, I'm guessing, just, just that. Nope. Wait, how did I just build just the two opposite <laughs> corners of the, of the house? or of the roof, I should say. Sometimes I'm just confused. Like, I can't even blame the fact that I'd be tired or anything, because I'm, I'm not. I, I slept well. I, I should have drank a bit more coffee, but still. Ah, no, that won't work. Hmm. So, if we do this, no, still not what we need. So this here. Yeah, that works. Okay, perfect. Perfect. And that's a... Oops, no. That would be like that. How does that look? D just in terms of shape, of course. Texture is still... Pretty um, bad. Couldn't find another word. If I put a little outline around it just to make it pop a bit more. How does that look? <laughs> Somehow it. it kinda has this fisherman feel. I'm not sure how to explain it, but like this fishing village community feel, having it really low like that. Do you think the ship looks good? Yeah. 
thank you. Yeah, I'm happy with it. That is very cool. Okay. I think it also kind of looks <laughs> like those uh, fishermen villagers. I'm gonna have to summon one. Uh, I think it's... Pro... Uh, no, it's in the... Ah, I never remember how to do those. Uh, it's... Profession... Fisherman, I think. That did not work, although... I just have to put down... A barrel. Just... Someone, any villager, give it a barrel. It does kind of look like they're hats. Okay, we got something. We got something. Oh, sorry. You like that barrel? I'm gonna let you have this one. Yep. <laughs> that works. Okay. What else can we do? Uh, are the bricks any good? Uh, so, the thing is, oh, I could put walls. Nope, that does not work. If I put them here, does it work? Yeah, no, I'm gonna just have to change the texture a bit. Fence. Now you cannot unsee it. <laughs> Perfect. My plan worked perfectly. <laughs> Something like that, or, or, or... Like that. Yeah, I'm gonna ditch this one. Gonna use this one, and I'm gonna have to change something in the corners here. Uh, I think I'm even gonna change the color, so maybe some pillars of polished and the site. Nope, that does not really work all that well. Uh, I'm gonna keep spruce, but stripped and. Oak logs, stripped oak logs as well. Um, does this look good? It'd be better with oak. Uh, no, I think I prefer. Let's, let's just put some all around. Some more fences. Again, I'm in top chat and I just realized. Did I miss someone else's messages? Okay. I was super angry. Because last stream, one of my friends came here, insulted me, and I completely ignored her. Uh, let's see if stairs would be a bit less heavy. Here, or, or on the corner here. Nope, does not work. Um, now I'm thinking of spruce trap doors. 
if there could be a way to include them. Nope. Not that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like it. That way kind of helps round the corner off a tiny bit. And why is that okay? I just realized I just looked at, at the the house and said the word brick with no context and picked a stair, a bri uh, yeah, brick stairs. Well, this one I'm gonna put the door outside. Um, what door would be best out here? door again with the old school texture that won't work that won't work let's look at the shape of crimson doors because they could be useful for the other the other uh, houses yeah I feel like jungle wood would be a good fit here also yeah. I, I really like those doors I think they, they would be a good alternative to uh, to spruce doors if they weren't, you know, the color of crimson, which is uh, a bit harder to, to build with. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I think that oak doors are... They're just what we need here. And uh, now, what we need also is to use some granite here and there to just make it a little bit more broken. I could put it polished back here. And another one here. Because crimson's so weird and purpley. Yes, that is a very, very true observation, Errington. How are you doing, sir? Hello, Arrington. How's it going? Nope. I don't need the doors anymore. Yeah, but we will build with Crimson in this village here. It's gonna happen. I promise. I promise that. Just uh, not yet. But there will be some crimson, and it's gonna make sense. Uh, we put this here. Some creative building. Very cool. What are you building? What can you reveal about what you're building? I want to know everything that I have the, the right to know, I guess. <laughs> Don't spoil too much, though. Yeah, crimson having more the color of mangrove. I um, I can see why. I don't hate it per se, but I see why some people do. I can definitely understand that. And. I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. We're not really gonna do the insides of these houses. Well, one day technically I will because I said that I would, but it's... Yeah, let's just uh, look at it from the outside only. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Pretty happy with that. I'm just gonna put a bit more wood 
uh, a different type of wood or maybe just some other stuff on the roof. Uh, thinking of using some jungle as an uh, like a, a, another hue of that wood. I realize it, it works pretty well. Oh, that's not a stair, that's a slab. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I like the combination of some of uh, jungle and oak as like something that's been a bit weathered. Uh, but it's more like oak looks good as weathered jungle, but doesn't really work the other way around. So I'm gonna remove that. Um, and I'm working on a boat path under no water. Got some inspiration for a water slide build. Oh, very cool. A water slide build shop. So you would sell water slides or... Because <laughs> if you're selling water slides, I will buy you one. At least one. Also, did you notice that the shape of the house that I built, the shape of the roof, is kind of like the same shape as the hats of the fishermen, villagers, which is very appropriate considering that this is a fisherman village. I think it's a, a very cool little detail. Water side. I really read water slide. <laughs> Wow, I, I, and you definitely wrote Waterside. You you wrote that. <laughs> it's pretty obvious, I see it now. <laughs> uh, but waterside, uh, waterside Shop, that's very cool also. Doesn't have to be a Water Slide Shop. I would have preferred a Water Slide Shop, but I'm okay with Water Side Shops. If I make it like that, that would be more fun. Okay, I got, I got a new uh, a new shop idea. I'm stealing that idea. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna steal it. Um, um, um. Do I like that? Having the little X here. It's, it's all mine. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> um, no blacks. Wait, what kind of... I'm gonna write the whole word, otherwise some people are gonna think it's funny if I just write butt. But what kind of buttons could I put on the roof? Mangrove? What? Like if I have a little pattern like that. Oops. Nope. Does not work at all. Let's remove all of that. And pretend it never happened. If I put spruce, would it look good? Getting mossy and cracked versions of these, I 100% agree with you. It would be so good. However, it, it kind of feels like moss wouldn't grow here. I could use lichen though. I think lichen would be good here. But yeah, I think moss would be a bit out of place here because it's kind of implied that there's no more green life, only, only purple. But lichen is just good enough. And you know what? I had an idea. Where is the big critter? It's over that way. So I'm gonna be covering this entire side with moss and uh, with uh, lichen. Yeah, uh, getting 
mossy and cracked, every type of stone is just... It's, it's required now. We need it. I want that. What? That shade of copper looks good. Hmm... Oops. Forgot to take the wax. Yeah, 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 I think I'm gonna even replace the polished with some copper, all the polished uh, granite with copper. Just to have a, again, a bit of a different texture. Just so it looks a, like it was attempted to be repaired or someone tried to repair it. Uh, I was gonna write the word try. Uh, wax. Um, some of the brown mushroom blocks might work well with the pillars and the roof. Uh, yeah, yep, yep, I might try that. Although the like it would need to be kind of growing for me to like like it cuz i i don't like well the, the the problem that i have is that they're already the the brown mushrooms here so if we i have like the brown mushroom in the houses it might feel a bit weird unless like it has been willingly used like removed from the mushroom to build a house with it it's kind of where i my mind goes when i um i try to build with uh like when i try texturing with blocks that are not like a uh, uh of, a, of, of a like a building block nature i don't know if it makes sense the way i'm saying it but like using mushroom stems i still see a mushroom stem so I, I kind of wonder why would someone use a mushroom stem. Yeah, growing over mushroom to, to a house nearby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely it, it could could work like that. Or maybe just like putting one. Like I, I wanna also build some big mushrooms. Ah, that's cool. I I wasn't sure if you could if you would get the texture here with the uh, on the stem, but yeah, you can place them next to one another, and they won't turn them into stems. Very very cool. So if we make just a normal mushroom here and then maybe it could like droop down on the uh, on the roof Brown mushroom blood, otherwise known as smooth, smooth mud. I totally forgot about mud, uh, but yeah, it uh, it does look like smooth mud, <laughs> also. Um, but 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 we, uh, but yeah, totally forgot about mud. Mud would be a good addition here, I think. So, what if I remove this corner here? Yeah, I'm just gonna work on the, the texture, the, oops, the bottom texture of the mushroom block. I'm gonna correct it all afterwards. Mm. 
Yeah, you can't really use mushroom blocks as like placeholder blocks for other mush for more mushroom blocks. It seems. So I'm usually not a big fan of building custom trees, so now building a custom mushroom, <laughs> I'm, I'm really out of my comfort zone. <laughs> but you know what, that's kind of what this series is about, doing new stuff. I kind of like the stems, uh, uh, how they are. I, I really don't have a tendency to just try and have like three different blocks for the same thing. I, I don't know if it makes sense of what I'm saying it, but like th there are some people who really like to have like huge variation, like never using, like a, if you have like one material, it has to be two blocks or, or more, but I don't feel like that too much. It's um, it it never turns out good, or it, it never turns out how I would like it to turn out when I try that. So I uh, end up building in other ways. here just some kind of uh yeah like it got a little bit raised here on that side just to have a bit of a weirder shape anyway it's my first mushroom so they can all be good and I can always work on it a bit more eventually That's good enough. Oh wait, no. Oh, no. Ah. Yeah, they're super weird to build with, to get the right texture in the right place. I, I really like that mechanic, but yeah, it's a, it's a bit uh, a bit strange. What else? Okay, so we have one, um, one little house. Although there's still some stuff that I think would need to be done here. The problem that I see right now is that there's a lot of variation. Like it's got, it's it's like broken down. It's uh, or like it's old. It it's deteriorated a bit on the walls. But not the pillars and not the roof. So that's that's something that kind of bugs me a bit. So let's no, nope, I just tried it. It wasn't gonna work. So if I change things like that. Some spruce stairs. Yeah, we, we did all that because I wanted to have mushroom blocks or to justify having mushroom blocks on the roof and I forgot to put them there. <laughs> no, 
now I have to break this one. Nothing else to replace. That's good. Okay. Okay, okay. Could even have some kind of fungi drooping down like that. Yeah, going down, kind of drooping down from this side. Yeah, you know what? Won't fit with the color palette, but that's even better because it doesn't have to. But we're also gonna have some like that drooping down from this side here. Kind of like it's a more gooey part, like the inside part, but that's kind of dripping down and then the, it, it's forming like a crust around it. Even, you know what, I'm gonna do it like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep it like that. That's good enough. Even this one here. Okay, now we're done with that little thing. Now we're done for real. Um, okay, okay, okay. No, we're not done with that yet because it it looks a bit weird right now. That's better. A bit bigger, but yeah, better. Yep. Okay. Now. Now, now, now. What else could I use? Just had to change it a bit from the oak. What blocks do we have? Or oh, actually, I'm gonna need slabs. Oops. Don't need to put the plural here. Is there something? Maybe birch could look a bit like some. Also, I was using. Petrified oak slabs, okay. Uh, but yeah, birch could look like some worn out oak, maybe, here and there. Retie the build into the environment, yes. Yep, it, it, I'm happy with, I'm, I'm happy with, with the fact that it all works. It's great, I love it. Actually, this here, yeah, yeah, and it's it's one of the things that I really want to work on with this thing, with this uh, this village here, is making like everything work with the environment, like story-wise, as I, I mentioned earlier, like for other streams, but also uh, you know make it look like stuff has happened you know there, there's there's a life here there's things happening so does the birch help huh. I don't think it does I really don't yeah What other block could be like an alternate uh, uh, oak? <laughs> Would copper work? Right, I can definitely use some strip oak. That is 
a very very good point <laughs> I naturally do uh, villager noises don't judge me <laughs> yep that's a very good idea Errington wait it was Errington no that's Mr. Frogger sorry very good idea Mr. Frogger <laughs> thank you very much for that Consider yourself judge. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And you know what? These buttons as a pattern, they don't work. They will work as like a randomized stuff that just so happened to fall down. Like that. Best song ever. But yeah, do you like the the birch here and there? Like the two or three blocks of birch? I can already say I do not like this one here. I can also use some uh, stripped spruce. You're feeling the birch? Wait, is feeling the birch an, an expression that I didn't know for, like, something that doesn't work? Because no one likes birch? You could take it or... Uh, or leave it. <laughs> Add some lightness, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for... Uh, your comments on that. Uh, yeah. It's the... The kind of thing that... Mm, I, I'm gonna leave it here, but it definitely could go in the future. You f if you're feeling the vibe, you like it. Okay, thank you. Because I recently learned that saying that something is pants means that that, that thing is bad. And I, I love that expression, but I didn't know it until like... Not too long ago. I'm gonna change that. Didn't like how it looked. Yep, that's a lot better. That is better. Okay, we have a first little house. Perfect. We will suggest some out there choices like purple and endstone soon. <laughs> yeah. It's a very British. I've been told it's actually Scottish, I think. I, I think I'm really not sure, but somewhere in the the British Isles, uh, or maybe even Irish. I'm not sure, but I think it wasn't British. But anyway, that, I'm I don't know why I'm saying that. It's not. You would hear it all over the UK. Okay. <laughs> You're learning. I'm I'm learning too. Um, I'm curious to see how it looks on a map. That the roof of that little house. It does kind of look like like a mushroom. <laughs> Funny enough. It's it's a it's a UK expression. Okay, thank you for clarifying the for clar clarifying this, Mr. Frogger. Um, so we're gonna stick with the um the whole like uh, aesthetic of uh, those short round houses, uh, and I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. Tear this one out. Where am I? Uh, like a so. Oops. Let's go twenty. A white chocolate chip cookie. Oh, that's a very 
interesting observation, a very good point. Um, uh, bricks. Haven't seen it like that. And I do not disagree. Okay. Stairs. Um, uh, spruce stairs. Oops. And the rest I can remove it by hand. Yeah, more dug down to the... Yeah, that's a very good idea. Very, very good. Like on the side of hills, but like almost inside the hills. <clears throat> Very, very good idea. Okay, that little hill was ugly. Bit too square for me. Um, I'm gonna use that just to have, to have a bit of an idea of the outline. I could have, but... Thing like that. Is it three? Yeah. Some like that. And like all of that would be deeper. where another one could go, it could maybe go here, it could even be bigger, uh, if I do it like that, is it gonna be too big? <clears throat> I think it's gonna reach out a bit too far out there. What did I do? That's what I did wrong. So it's gonna come out. Like the door's gonna be there, right in front of that crack in the ground here. <laughs> Super safe place to live. personal head cannon that they build their houses around like mushrooms to hide from phantoms how would it hide them from phantoms oh cuz like it's the only mob that can spawn here it's like it's the only threat is that it?
Also, like the the phantoms would just they would leave them alone. But if they sleep, because I mean the houses are, are empty, but it's meant they, like they they have beds in the houses. I could put a bed, but they sleep, so they shouldn't fear phantoms. Yeah, I'm gonna put a bed just to make sure. Yeah, I'm gonna go for brown, obviously. There you go. The camouflage houses, yeah. But yeah, that is a, a, a very good point. It kind of reflects the uh, <clears throat> the shape of the mushrooms, which, uh, according to the the story of the the area, would kind of uh, have foreshadowed the fact that it uh, would turn out to, it would turn out to be filled with mushrooms everywhere. Also, why are you here? Don't look! Don't look! Not supposed to be here. I know you just followed your master here. But it's all his fault. Oops. Sorry. Okay. Let's pretend like that never happened. But I thought I'd change the game rule to uh, not have wandering traders. Or maybe I actually just kept it to have them because it's villages and traders could walk around. I don't know. Um, so, 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 so. Um, what are the blocks that are going to be used uh, that they, they're going to get from mushrooms and... Okay, I'm just gonna search them. Um, so from mushrooms and from fungi. So we got all those. Um, we got those. Uh, stem and planks. So for the the houses that were built after the uh, cataclysm um, they're gonna be built with those blocks I'm just gonna make a little line here with all the blocks so I'm guessing for the houses they would strip the weird creepy veins off of their um, the stems because, like, you don't want that on, on your wall. It, it's gonna prevent you from sleeping. It's gonna keep you awake at night. It's a bit scary, disgusting. Um, also, is that a good enough circle? Or should this corner here be like that? So, as you can probably notice, I'm, I really am truly all over the place all the time like that I can do one thing if I start doing something I have to go and do something else it's super annoying but is it more of a circle like that and should I ask the internet for an answer or should I just wing it I'm just gonna wing it and Yeah, it's good enough. And just to make it a bit different, we're gonna have the door here instead. And the floor is gonna be all the way down here. So all of this is gonna be dirt. 
like so. Perfect. I'm gonna put some s smooth stone oops on the floor. Like that, and actually, you know what? None of those gonna be here instead. And I'm gonna use a crimson door because I'm a monster. Um, now, what would be best for the walls? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think just some. I'm gonna start with some white mushroom. So like they literally just harvested the mushrooms like they were trees and tried building their houses with it. Might not be very sturdy however, so I'm thinking they would have picked some of the crimson wood to keep things a bit safer and that here could be some openings for uh, openings for windows oh yeah and I totally forgot that I can literally just use the uh, the inside texture also um, be here Like that. Okay. So we got a frame for the house. Um, won't be that many windows though, but it's alright. Um, and now we can just close things off here. So it looks very, very, um, I don't know how to say, like, whimsical, maybe? Like, very bright colors. And... Uh, let's pick some brown for the roof. Just to make it a bit... Like, to, to um, compensate from the uh, the very bright color. That we have out that we have for the walls. Make something a, a bit duller. We'll see if it works. Worst case scenario, we can always just tear it down. You learn to uh, limit your uh, mushroom block by saying, "Yeah, it's uh, well." You get used to it. it. 
it's it's just that I I really can't aim properly. I'm very bad at that. I'm terrible, so I end up placing it where it shouldn't be. But it it's a very fun block to work with. Now, does that look like someone, like a rational human being, would build? Or something like a cartoon character would build? Hmm... The thing is, the, the more, like more dull options, there aren't many. So let's just try... Wait, there's gotta be a way to just fill it and change it all. How big is it? Because it's gonna take so long to to uh, replace them, so I'm gonna try and use a, f a command. So, from here... 13. So would be 12 more blocks so no fill 12 to 12 uh, brown mushroom block replace oops brown mushroom block and Oh, I'm gonna have to like write them all. Yeah, I don't know if I should do it. Uh, down, east, west. True. I don't even know if I'm doing the right thing. Up. Nope. I will TR. True. North, true, south, true. It kind of, it's kind of annoying because it doesn't say if it means like the right texture or not. So, I put replace. And that replaced 11 blocks, okay. Anyway, it means I had to write false all those times. I can copy paste. Okay, now we got that. Okay, that's a nightmare. <laughs> that is an absolute nightmare. Like I thought it looked bad, but no, 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 no. I was wrong. There we go. Let's pretend it did not happen. Um, and now... And now, uh, I think we can still, like, make some, like, have some patches of the, the uh, like, open texture. Which is, it, it's really a cool mechanic that they, they have the, these blocks here, because you can actually decide on the texture that you want on each side. Which, like, if you want to do some, some custom blocks, like, it's it's a really cool thing to have. Like, getting to decide you want only that face to have a certain texture and the other face to have another one. But, yeah, if you want to, if you want them all to have the same texture, it can be a bit tedious. Or, like, if you want to have 
like that one that one texture here um, so something like that and that no. yeah that's good cool. that's good there we go that's better that's a bit better Okay, so we need to have a droopier roof, I think. I think it would help a lot. And... And, and we're gonna need to put some more stuff. On the sides like some pillars and things like that however if I want to respect the rules that I set for myself I don't know what I could put here um, um, um. thing is nether brick might add an in in interesting touch here Yeah. Okay, you know what? It's another not really used texture. So I'm officially adding nether bricks to the uh, the possibilities that we have <laughs> for this village. Um not sure what I'm going to do with it though, but Okay, what if I just remove all the crimson, or most of the crimson? And instead make a colorful roof. So I put some crimson on the roof. I think that would be a bit better. Yeah, I really like the nether bricks a lot more in that build I don't remember how they're called. Haifei. Never heard that word before or in, in any other context, but yeah. Does it help make it look... I'm not gonna put it randomly though. I'm gonna put it like in a way that makes it feel like it's part of a structure. Hello B12FF, how are you doing? We're building weird houses right now using very strange block palettes and we're uh, questioning ourselves constantly because I have no idea what that's supposed to be where I, or where I'm going with that. of this place in case you did not uh, know it 
but basically what happened here is it was a cute little village where uh, if like a fisher village fisherman community or a fishing community I should say and uh, at some point some weird wizard decided to uh, establish himself uh, built himself a big tower because it was like a place where he could do his research and then opened a portal to a, another dimension or something like that and there was kind of a cataclysm that happened like a big weird thing that happened magical event and uh, it changed the entire landscape it was just a normal little island and it turned into well now it's a mushroom island but it's gonna be like more and more Mostra a village. I'm not sure I get what you mean but like a, a monster village That could be seen like that. Yeah, but yeah, basically the, the the houses that were there. They're still there and that's what they look like So very simple little houses, but like mushrooms started growing on them and all that stuff but they also had to build more houses and the only materials that they had at that time were you know the mushroom stuff and um, the uh, I I'm gonna also add a, a lot of uh, mushroom based on the um, the fungi the nether fungi blocks so the the that's kind of all they had to, to use to build their houses so now I'm trying to make a roof so I um, I use some uh, brown mushroom blocks uh, but I'm trying to make it a bit sturdier and I, I want to add I want to use the the, the the crimson door so I want to justify using the crimson door with some crimson wood but I can't find a way to make it work the way I would like it to so I'm gonna remove that for the moment So, 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 what could we do if I just do it like that? Oops. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Actually, that could even leave. Where did I put that block? Hmm. Thought I heard something. Nope. Okay, that's not too bad. I kind of like that. <laughs> the pattern's a bit weird and there's still not a lot of crimson, but I could add crimson fences instead on the corners here to tie it in with the fact that I use a crimson door and yeah that kind of works kind of remove all the crimson that we have here huh
Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm being si super silent, but I'm, I'm not convinced with what I'm doing here. Huh. <laughs> I might have to rework on it some other time, but so far it's uh, it's not super good. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe I'll just make a regular roof with uh, using planks, crimson planks everywhere, but adding a lot. Of, um, of brown mushrooms everywhere just so it's not like it's we, we can't see that it's mainly uh, crimson planks kind of like the a bit of like the idea that I have here like they used crimson wood for the roof but they used like they kind of filled the gaps with those uh, those brown mushroom blocks it's kind of the idea that I have for now for what we could do Already an hour and 37 minutes. Holy cow, time flies. Time to make water slide instead. Well, yeah, we could make a water slide. Actually, because I'm gonna end in not too long now. I just need to find my way out. Where did I put? Wee! Oh, there it is. We could go and scout out the um, the ice spikes place. Just to uh, you know, have a bit of an idea of where I'm gonna put everything. So I'm gonna pick some wool. Red wool should be contrasting enough. Oh, oh, that looks cool. There's this big hole with a crystal. Is it like even a floating little island? Oh, that looks cool. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely using that. I think I'm just gonna change it into like a one big ice crystal. Maybe like pull it up a bit. Also, something I need to check. Yeah. Looks really cool to have just one ice spike on top of the little floating island. I don't really understand how that could generate, but it's really cool. And there's a bunch of uh, bunch of large stalactite-like structures. So that's probably that kind of a stalactite with a, sp uh, a nice spike on top. Oh, that's nice. That is very, very nice. Um, so won't be a water slide, but it's it's gonna be more of an ice slide. <laughs> Um, yeah, there was something that I wanted to check out. If we summon some strays. Um, stray. Do they have the persistent... Ice is faster, so you approve. Yep, yep, yep. Is that the... Of course it's gonna burn because it's daytime, so I can't really test out my theories. Uh, but I think there's an NBT tag that... Is it persistent with it? an E? Yeah, again, again, I did the same thing. There, it's He's gonna die. He's just gonna burn. Yeah, 
There we go. We'll see if it uh, if it stays there forever. Let's just move away. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, and we have a pillager outpost. That is very cool. Thank you, Harrington. I need to figure out a way to... Oh, it's still there. I need to figure out a way to uh, mute my mic uh, on, on OBS. I have it so it mutes it on, like, Discord and... Uh, what's the other thing? Uh, proximity chat, but not OBS. Okay, it's still there. That is very cool because I wanted to have. Um, I wanted to make sure that I could summon some strays, but that they wouldn't despawn every time I left the area. So, thank you. I won't need you anymore for now. Also, I dropped my wool. So, so, so. Okay. Back to planning. This here, it's definitely going to be kind of the, the heart of the fort. Oh, that's where I started. So we're going to have some walls kind of all around here. And we can even work it with the cliff that we have. To have it like go up to here maybe using those spikes definitely using that one and yeah that's far away that's far enough so could remove that, even include that little uh, ravine here. Let's just see what we have on that side here. Oh, I have an idea. The um, It could be kind of uh, longer in that direction. And since it's kind of almost on top of a hill, you could kind of have like a... a kind of a temple feel to it so like it reaches up to here and that's just the back of the fort but if I work on the landscape and make like that that hill like make a cliff here behind it could make something that looks really cool so maybe, maybe if it reaches all the way back here we could have come kind of, kind of a building here behind the, that big spike and yeah work with that little hill back here to make just a steeper cliff and uh, yeah we got something we got something. So I'm gonna include this big pillar as well in the wall. Like so. Or no, actually I'm gonna move inward a bit. So yeah, I think the the idea that if I can put words on the idea that I just had, it would really feel like a a, a level of a like a, a game level. So like you have some kind of progression, and that would be like where the final boss fight is. Like you see that that's the main thing, and maybe behind here is where the 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 big boss 
the BBEG is hiding. Something like that. Yeah, that's cool. That is very cool. And that ravine here is gonna be the side of our... Uh, it's gonna be the, the side of our wall. So, this could go here, and here, so it would kind of be the the entrance here. Actually, I'm going to remove this one. So, like, there's a wall here, so you can come in from here, have maybe a bit of a winding path up here. I'm going to pick another color, uh, yellow. Yellow wool would be more like the path. Of this place so now I feel like I'm making yellow snow and I have to make some yellow snow jokes Oops. yeah 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 that is very cool And so here there could be some kind of buildings or something. Not sure. But yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's fun. We got ideas. Um So 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 if we make Actually, this wall here is gonna connect a bit further back. Oh, I, I'm just gonna use the landscape. It's gonna connect to here. Oh, there's a rabbit. Hello, rabbit. You want to fall in that hole? Okay, I'm gonna let it go. I shouldn't kill rabbits. That's mean. They don't deserve that. Even though their AI kind of seems to imply that they really want to die. Not that they want to die, but that they, they don't really care all that much about surviving. Okay, yeah, we got... We got something rolling now. So at first I was thinking this one's gonna be like one of the smaller ones. Uh, of, of all the settlements I'm gonna build but yeah I'm, I'm getting more ideas now and yep might turn out to be a bit a bit bigger than I expected at first very very cool so what I'm gonna have to do now is kind of build some um, some big walls with ice and snow, and I'm not sure what else I could build all of that with. Diamond blocks could be cool. Um, like, I don't think any wood would really make all that much sense. Maybe quartz, as some kind of very dense and thick snow. Not, not thick, but yeah, dense and compact. Compact snow would work well. And since it's gonna be very blue and white, I'm thinking some. Well, I'm thinking the orange of some jack o' lanterns everywhere, just to make things a bit creepier everywhere. And um, maybe some darker colors like smooth basalt. And I, I want to avoid deep slate because it's 
just so pretty that it goes everywhere. Oh, soul sand. Soul fire and soul torches. That's gonna be very, very useful. Uh, but what else? Maybe, yeah, nether bricks would work well here too, I think. Mud goes well with basalt. It does. It really does. But I feel like mud as a material for some kind of... And, and the, the lore here isn't really well established yet, but mud for some kind of weird uh, like ice skeletons, ice undead creatures doesn't necessarily feel all that... Um, appropriate in the context although now that I think of it mud would definitely look great as like a a, a block in the uh, the mushroom place I, I did mention mud but mud as like the after after the uh, cataclysm mud would still work it would still exist there's still dirt and they can make it Oh, and now that I, I hear myself talk, I, I see that you meant mud, uh, mud, mud, not, not mud bricks. And you are totally right that it goes absolutely well together with this block. So, yeah. I um, let, let's blame streaming brain for all of that. And the cool thing is that with nether bricks we got fences and walls so we can make some cool spikes. Uh, nether brick. Like a wall and a fence on top. Can make some very cool spikes like that. And of course, I. why didn't I think of that? Of course it was gonna spawn a snow golem. Something like that. Gonna record a collab. Uh, I'm gonna end this pretty soon, it's almost two hours, so... Uh, thank you so much for showing up, Arrington. It was very cool and have a great collab. Have a good rest of your day. Uh, no, that's a tool. I think that some blue fire is gonna look fantastic here. Yep, yep, yep. All of that is gonna look great. Amazing. Perfect. And you know what? Just so I don't forget, I'm gonna go back here. Play some mud bricks. Whoa. Taking a bit of a while. Now, where is the house? There it is. Yeah. After seeing some pretty things like ice spikes, that house is hideous. Gonna need to work out some something with that, because yeah. Not gonna work like that. It is a nut. But we're gonna place that here. And yeah. It it, it really looks no it it doesn't look like it's it's smooth mud. It's exactly smooth mud, the, the brown mushrooms, it's yep. It's, it's it's not even like a coincidence or anything. It has to be kind of sort of made on purpose. Hi, dragon. How are you doing? How are you doing, my friend? Um... 
Okay, so We're gonna end stream right now. It's not not just because you joined dragon. It's for for like reasons like I'm You're just waking up It's for how is it for p m Wait, you don't live in my time zone? And you're not 12 hours away from me? Wait, what? Did you move? And you got a job. That is very cool that you have a job. You've been on... You got a job and you're on vacation? That's some weird vacation, dragon. But congratulations on, on the job. I hope it's a, a fun one that you have. Okay, yeah, it's a job back home. Okay, yeah. I Streamer brain. Let's bra let's blame streamer brain for that. It it makes a lot more sense when you see it like that. Night work at Nike. Oh, that's very cool. Very happy for you. Uh, today we built a pretty little house here for the Mushroom Island village. And the roof really looks. I, I have to point it out because I really like that. But the roof really looks like the hats of the fishermen. <laughs> I think it's funny. And we tried to build. So th the house would be like before. Um, a weird magical accident that happened and that changed the island into this and we tried something for a house that would have been built with like the new materials that are here uh, and that one uh, is um, yeah, it's let's look away for now it's uh, it, it needs a bit more work but yeah but sadly as I did hint at like for the last five minutes uh, we're gonna end this right now for today. It, I, I'm not running away from you, Dragon, don't worry. So thank you so much, everyone, for coming here for my third stream. Going great so far, very happy with how it's turning out. So thank you so much, but we are going to be raiding someone for the first time. And it's not gonna be like an official raid, because it's gonna be a a, a, a cross-platform raid, but my friend Corgi is streaming on Twitch right now, so if you want to follow me to watch her stream, that would be super appreciated. I'm gonna hang out in her chat. She is playing uh, Jenny Clue. it's a point-and-click game. Uh, super fun to watch, super funny, and so yeah. So thank you so much for joining me today. Have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya!